Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Exciter in Logic. Now this is a really useful plugin, especially for like guitars and also other lead sounds, but particularly those sounds that have a weak high end or a weak treble that you want to bring out a little bit more. Now it works in quite a similar way to distortion, but it's quite different in that it adds extra harmonics to the high end, but it's passing it through a high pass filter first. So we're just going to take a look on this lead guitar sound. I've just got the Exciter already on here, but I'll just demonstrate how it all works. So we've got a couple of parameters here. Firstly, we've got the actual high pass filter itself, the frequency. So what it does is it's cutting out everything below 5900 hertz and then applying the harmonics to everything above that. Obviously we can change this, we just click and drag that. But I found that having it in this kind of range works really nicely for this guitar. You've got the dry signal, which is just on or off. And this is really useful to just kind of compare what it really sounds like on its own to then blend it in with the original signal. You've got the actual harmonics here for how much you want coming through. And then you've got color one and two. These are both quite similar, except color two is just a bit more dense sounding than color one. I prefer using color one most of the time, but it depends on what you're using. I'll still demonstrate both. So let's just have a listen to this guitar without the exciter on first, and then we'll A and B it. So it's just adding a bit of life to it really. So I'm just going to whack the harmonics up and you'll kind of hear it coming through a bit more. So there's much more high end and much more treble in there now. We're just going to turn the dry signal off so we can hear what it sounds like on its own and then we'll have a really good idea of how all of these really work. That's basically our original signal. So I'm not sure if it's really obvious here what these colors are doing. I can just hear that it does sound a bit more dense because it's just a bit more tightly packed in here with the harmonics it's adding in but we'll just have another listen at the low end as well. So it's just helping it really come through and as I said, come to life a bit more. I think this is a little too much. I, I use it quite subtly most of the time, to be honest. Just to get a nice balance and a nice blend between the two. But of course, this all depends on what it sounds like in the mix. So again, let's just have a listen to it without the exciter and then with it in the mix as well. So it's really helping it come through and cut through a lot more just by using this. Of course, this all depends on the actual guitar tone that you've got, what other things you have going on in the mix and just overall levels as well. But it's definitely worth playing around with. Really, I found this setting in a matter of minutes and it improved the guitar sound infinitely. It made it so much clearer and so much better with really minimal effort, to be honest. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.